The U.S. Supreme Court let stand, for now, an Illinois state ban on assault-style rifles and large-capacity magazines, enacted after a deadly mass shooting in Chicago's Highland Park suburb last summer. A gun rights group and a gun dealer suing to overturn the assault weapons ban appealed to the nine justices and asked for an injunction preventing the measure from taking effect while their case is heard by the courts. But the top court on Wednesday denied that request. Earlier this year, Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker signed into law the Protect Illinois Communities Act, banning the sale and distribution of many kinds of high-powered semi-automatic assault weapons, including AK-47 and AR-15 rifles and large-capacity magazines. The gun rights group, along with the retailer, challenged Pritzker, arguing the restrictions were a violation of the Second Amendment, which protects the right to keep and bear arms. Pritzker celebrated Wednesday's ruling, saying, quote, The gun lobby has insisted on every legal maneuver to block this law, refusing to acknowledge that lives will be saved by this important piece of legislation. Despite these challenges, I remain confident that the assault weapons ban will be upheld and will create a safer Illinois for our residents. But while Wednesday's decision keeps the ban in place for now, the fate of the law remains uncertain. The conservative majority in 2008 struck down a Washington, D.C. law banning handguns on the grounds it violated the Second Amendment. The court has tilted further in that direction since. Gun control advocates were dismayed last June when the court struck down New York State gun limits and recognized the right to carry a handgun in public for self-defense. Reuters Supreme Court correspondent Andrew Chung. That ruling could make it easier for lower courts to strike down new or existing gun control laws. By requiring um, those courts to ensure that the laws that they're scrutinizing are consistent with the um, nation's historical tradition of gun regulation. Um, in essence, requiring judges to find some sort of historical analog uh, to the law that they're looking at. Um, and that's what the uh, challengers to the Illinois uh, ban on firearms defined as assault weapons, uh, we're arguing that there is no such historical analog. The Illinois assault weapons ban is one Democratic President Joe Biden has said he'd like to enact nationwide. But Republican opposition makes any such bill almost impossible. A federal assault weapon ban enacted in 1994 lapsed a decade later and has not been renewed by Congress despite Democratic efforts amid a spate of U.S. mass shootings in recent years.